Welcome, everybody. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, what's next? And we're going to go over some additional resources as well as, uh, you know, how to get started in building. And let's take a look here. Uh, my name is Russ Festino. I'm a developer advocate for Algorand. Uh, I'm on uh, Jason's uh, team. We saw present the ABI session uh, not too long ago. So we, as in Paul, uh, as, uh, Paul's keynote, uh, said we is like everybody here, right? It's everybody that's tending here, Algorand, really the whole developer community. Uh, we are all in the right place. What's the next line? Anybody? Who said at the right time? Right there, you get a mug, baby, right there for that one. There you go, nice little Thank you. gator mug. That's it. So that's right, we are. We're in the right place at the right time. I honestly feel like that. We had a really good um, a couple of days. The excitement level I felt was just amazing. Uh, I've been to a lot of um, you know conferences in my career, and it's just the electricity and the excitement level of all the attendees and really seeing all, all that's being done on the Algorand blockchain, uh, and it's all coming together. And all of these big uh, uh, you, you know projects that are underway. I was talking to so many people at the uh, get together last night. It was just truly amazing all the solutions that are being built. So. Keep it up, and uh, we got better things ahead. So we're going to provide you a recap here in this session of the of the uh, uh, of this particular track. Uh, also, how to get started and where to learn more and some resources. So first of all, uh, yesterday we started out with a deep dive with state proofs, and uh, we had uh, the product roadmap was talked about there as well as uh, how Algorand is working to increase uh, transaction throughput and uh, removing some of the limitations that we got uh, in place. So through and incredibly in essence, increasing the power of all the smart contracts. And then uh, we had Inside the Foundation. That was kind of interesting. A lot of great programs, right, are available between the hackathons, bounties, grants, accelerators, accelerators and VCs. Uh, there's always uh, things going there uh, through the foundation. And Algorand Analytics was next with the vast majority of uh, algo holder, holders realizing profits. That was interesting. Uh, I was also, uh, I've learned that, you know, most are, folks are long-term uh, in terms of algos. And also there was a very positive spin on social media uh, with uh, Twitter. And one really interesting fact I found in that session was the fact that um, uh, it's uncorrelated to other financial markets, which, which was fascinating to me. So uh, a lot of really interesting things that we picked up during the course of, uh, of these sessions. And then we had uh, Jason up doing his pie teal session. It was just awesome. We had a round of applause. He's sitting right over there. That's it. And uh, we went over some of the ABM 1.0 features, including logging and opcode pooling and inner transaction as demos. Also, he talked about the auction demo. It's up on the uh, dev portal itself. Uh, then we had a really great thought-provoking session with uh, Reach. Uh, really came out and talked about... Um, you know, how Reach is a really great tool for being a blockchain agnostic tool, but also providing great uh, verification of processes for, uh, you know, making sure your, your smart contracts don't leave money on the table, really, uh, really helping you out audit your, your programs. And the, the thing that really, I, my light bulb went off in my head when we were saying, you know, all of these companies right now that have all of these, uh, you know, incentive programs and, and all of these like, you um, you know, uh, tokens that they have available, you know, they're going to end up becoming, you, you know, uh, uh, a DAO, you know, th that's really it in a nutshell. They're going to end up exchanging a lot of those tokens that they've had that really can only buy very limited things or be exchanged limitedly. Now you're really going to have a lot of expansion there. So that's a lot of companies, right, that have all these type of programs. So that, that alone was just really uh, mind blowing to me. And then also, uh, we got a lot of insights from the folks at the Next Group, um, Unlocks, as well as One and One and, and uh, Skybridge, as well as uh, 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 Kob Kobanax and Tiny Man, uh, as well as TNX Labs and Accenture. And uh, I know they, they really gave a nice nod out, uh, Patrick did, to Tiny Man and, and what a great job that they've done. So uh, that was really awesome as well. And then uh, we've had with the uh, Algorand virtual machine uh, through Teal uh, yesterday with all the subroutines and looping and inner transactions and logging as well as opcode pooling and, and uh, AVM with uh, uh, Gennady. 
So that was really a great day. And then we had the big party last night. All right. And then, so day two, uh, this morning, we started out with uh, data for devs and activating analytical uh, minds for Algorand. All right there. As well as, uh, you know, providing community enable analytics, which is really a very cool idea. Uh, and, you know, having thousands of analysts are now being activated to deliver on-demand insights for, for anyone uh, building on Algorand. So really great stuff there. Uh, also, Wire uh, presented next. And, uh, you know, uh, it's funny. When we first started doing a lot of uh, applications um, and demos and, and things of that nature, uh, the one thing that was missing was wallet integration, right? And then, now we got wallet integration. And Ryan uh, had a session on that today and showed you how to do that as well. But another missing piece is doing like transactions in the way of card processing and APIs to be able to do that. So now you have that capability uh, with the APIs for card processing and swapping, uh, you know, working with native algos, coins, as well as USDC and USDT uh, as well. Uh, and then, yeah, like I said, Ryan did the session on mobile, uh, uh, adding uh, signing right to your DAP with the mobile, um, uh, with the wallet connect uh, protocol. And uh, so the, this is a very important thing to be able to integrate with wallets when you're doing transactions because folks got to sign off on it and prove it and things of that nature. So uh, very good information there. And then we had best practices for securing Algorand smart contracts, again, with runtime verification. And I had uh, um, uh, done a lot, uh, for example, um, on the verification and I've learned a lot on that in, in the past uh, few months. Uh, writing uh, uh, some samples on like a, a more app game app I wrote in Reach and uh, really want to uh, include as many as search statements as you can in your logic and, and, and uh, the Reach engine will go ahead and, and, and uh, analyze that and see if you have, uh, you know, left any, any uh, uh, funds uh, that were maybe brought in with the contract that are still remaining there and it'll, it'll flag that as an error. So, Really some really good uh, food for thought there in terms of uh, what you're doing with uh, verification. Uh, then we have composing the uh, Hyperverse uh, as well. Pretty cool session. I was talking to the guys out there at the uh, NFT booth this morning. You know, one of the big, big things coming up in the next six months is going to be able to have one contract talk to another. And what I'm uh, in, envisioning is the fact that you're going to have a lot of uh, folks that uh, want to um, do modular type development. And it makes sense, right? If you have a smart contract, that's a utility contract, and then you can start using that as part of your overall solution. Boom, now you're really uh, speeding up your development process as you go forward. So, you know, some good things, they uh, resurface themselves in, in different ways. And I think that might be one of those things that, that, that comes up. And so finally, then we get to understand the EBI, the application binary interface that uh, Jason did. Uh, really a great talk, uh, gave a lot of in-depth um, uh, coding examples as part of that, and also showed the, uh, the Chrome um, uh, debugger uh, th that uh, you can use to go ahead and start stepping through some of your teal, uh, teal code. So inspect is what that was. That was really great stuff. And then also we have navigating DeFi on Algorand, as well as the uh, cash cow we just saw, or technological uh, renaissance with NFTs, uh, you know, merging is an investment option and becoming more popular day by, day by day. And she gave several slides on big numbers, right, that are in, in those slides in terms of those processing. The uh, videos from this session, uh, all the sessions, will be posted up on our YouTube channel, the Algorand YouTube channel. Uh, so uh, in the coming days, so youtube.com slash Algorand, and that'll get you to uh, all the Decipher uh, videos as well. Uh, and getting started, really, the best thing you can do is, is go out and um, uh, uh, you go out to the developer portal and do the getting started uh, sections that we have. That's really the best bet. The second thing is uh, the Discord server. How many people have signed up on the Discord server? Show of hands. Good number of you. This is really a great resource. You know, people uh, come to me and say, you know, where can I get support on, you know, XYZ topic? Well, this is a great spot. It's a really good community uh, server and there's people there that want to help. And, you know, it's really great for new, newcomers coming on to start learning. And then once the newcomers start learning, they start helping. And that's how the ecosystem grows. It's really a great thing. So a lot of goodness there uh, on the Discord server, uh, as well as in the developer portal. There is a section on the portal too, where you go through all of the, um, uh, 
uh, you go through all of the tools that are available through the ecosystem, all the different SDKs that are available, for example, as, as well as all the different wallets that are available, and the list keeps growing, and this just really does my heart good. All right, next up, Dev Office Hours. Any Dev Office Hour fans out here? Huh? All right. Who here has actually seen Dev Office Hours? Show of hands. Good number of you. This is great. I, I could not believe, Ryan, when uh, I got here, how many of you said, oh, I know you, Dev Office Hours, you know? It was like, all right, this is, this is great. People are, you know, really starting to, uh, to watch this. So uh, one thing you may not know, on the same site that you register at uh, for uh, Dev Office Hours, and by the way, for those that have not uh, seen one of these yet, we have them every two weeks, generally on Tuesday around noon. Sometimes that fluctuates depending on the speaker that we get. Uh, but it's really a great thing. And, and we get a lot of industry experts, right, to come in and show off their API set that's related to Algorand tools or their solutions. And if any of you would like to appear on this show, please let me or Ryan know, and we'll hook you up and get you on that, on, on that show. So it's about an hour long we do it. And if you scroll down that same page, all the videos from the prior Dev Office hours are there. So that's a really good resource uh, for you all to, to take advantage of. Ah, then we get bounties. Has anybody uh, done a bounty here? One of the L Grand bounties. So there's money waiting out there for you. Uh, a lot of different tasks uh, are up on the Get Bounty uh, site, and and all these links, by the way, that I'm about to sh I'm showing you on these slides. I have one link at the end for a link to this deck, so you can get all the resources and and download those. Okay, I'll have that on the last slide here tonight today. And uh, so Gitcoin buys, look at that top one there, uh, Game Track Studio, 150,000 algos. Are you kidding me? Right, this is some serious stuff here. And then there's a lot of other uh, Git bounties that are up there. We, we're always looking for content on the developer portal. So that's another uh, great way to engage with the community and, and help the cause, as well as uh, uh, bounties regarding uh, AVM and PyTail and, uh, and smart contracts. And hackathons, I've, I've heard a few of you uh, attend a few of the hackathons that we've had so far. We like, to, we like the longer ones, to be honest with you. I think you get better quality uh, solutions with the longer hackathons. This is one we're running right now. It's Algorand Innovate uh, through the Hacker Earth umbrella. And uh, we've got quite a few. Do you remember how many participants, Ryan, we got? 2,500. 2,500. Oh, my goodness. So this is going to be a rock and roll here in this one. Uh, over 100,000 uh, USD in prizes. Uh, this goes on to the middle of January. So it's, uh, you can get on this right now and, and start uh, uh, building some solutions for a great hackathon. And then uh, the PowerPoint uh, to this, there's a, the, the bit.ly. I also have a QR code coming up on the final slide. Uh, we've, we mentioned what the uh, YouTube channel was as, as well as I gave you a link to Discord. Uh, we have a few different places for the, the source code of many of our examples, one of which is Algorand-DevRel, and I think uh, that's where uh, Jason just put some of the uh, AVM code that he talked about and, and the ABI code. And then also you have the Algorand GitHub itself with uh, Algorand, uh, uh, as well as the, the docs under Algorand. So those are all the docs that are on uh, the developer portal. And there is an examples folder under that that has all the code in, in uh, uh, Python, Go, Teal, uh, Python, uh, Java, Go, and uh, JavaScript. And so uh, a lot of good things there. Uh, more resources, more links uh, uh, regarding around ASAs. Uh, there's the Algodest uh, Minter, that's pretty cool. Uh, you have uh, NFT game solution uh, out there as well as uh, uh, building NFTs and, and information on some of the articles that are on the site. And uh, a lot of other resources here uses VS Code. Show of hands, a good number of you. Uh, I got some tutorials up on the developer site on, on how to use Algorand in uh, all the different uh, languages that I got listed there, Python, Java, Go, JavaScript, and C Sharp. Uh, also, uh, the ecosystem tools, like, like we talked about, a uh, good link there as well. Uh, anybody here use Algodia? That's a great tool. Uh, check that out. It's, all, it's an IDE. It's all visual. You just right mouse click, say, OK, I want to create an account. Boom, it does it. And you know, write list, okay, I want to do an LSIG you know, transaction. Very easy. Uh, it really contains a lot of the uh, uh, information about uh, the nodes, all real handy. And you have a nice set of accounts that you can work with just from a development standpoint. 
Uh, really, really nice. So I highly encourage you to check that one out. They'll save you a lot of time. Anytime I need to whip up an account to do some testing or something like that, I'll pop up that and just do a right mouse click and then uh, uh, go ahead and do my, my new account, for example. Uh, Algorand Playground, that's a really nice tool, a, a set of tools there as well as uh, Algodesk.io and um, and we have a, a, a lot of articles on Algorand Builder, so a great tool for our building solutions with there to help you out as well as uh, information on uh, uh, REST API points. And then finally, uh, you know, really a lot of uh, other resources as well with the Sandbox, Networks, Indexer, uh, Ecosystem Wallets, uh, and, and so forth. So finally, we get down to this slide here. So there is the uh, QR code. Uh, uh, so that is where we have uh, this particular deck with all those resource links in it. And then uh, you'll be in good shape uh, going out to the YouTube channel as well to get a refresher on all the content in a couple of days. Uh, I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for coming out to Decipher. Thank you very much. Happy coding. <laughs>